So if you are got a check engine light and you're able to have one of these uh, ODB2 code readers, uh, which if you don't have one, you should definitely get one, you can pull the code and see what's going on. For me, uh, I'm going to pull the code and I already did it, so I know it's a P0128, which is the... Uh, coolant temperature is not getting up high enough. That's usually an indication that the uh, thermostat is open. So the thermostat has failed and when they fail, they fail open. So the coolant is constantly running and so it's not getting up to temperature. So uh, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to replace that thermostat. Uh, and at the same time, if you want to, you can do a coolant flush as well. So here's my code reader and I'm going to go ahead and do the diagnostics. One thing I wanted to note, I've already cleared the code, so my P0128 is not going to show. Uh, but if I read the permanent codes, um, you're going to notice that the P128 still shows as a permanent code. Um, so let me go ahead and read that. And the way that you get uh, the way that you get rid of these permanent codes is that you have to drive the car above 40 miles an hour for about 10 minutes uh, or 15 minutes. I can't remember exactly how long you have to drive it, but you do have to drive it around and then as long as you fix the problem, these permanent codes will go away. Um, so for the rest of this video, I'm gonna show you how to take care of that P0128 by replacing the thermostat. So now we're gonna replace the thermostat. Um, first thing we gotta do is remove this uh, filter tube here. The front part is pretty easy. Get a screwdriver, loosen that up, and then wiggle it, comes right off. Then come around the back here, and this screw back here is pretty hard to get to with the screwdriver. I just got a pair of pliers, went ahead and loosened that up. And then this sensor here, what you do is you pinch it, and then wiggle it, and then that'll come right off. So now that we got the air intake out of the way, uh, this is the thermostat that we're going to be replacing. Uh, we're just going to get some pliers, go ahead and pinch this, scoot this one back, and then you've got a bolt here, and then a bolt underneath that we'll have to re release, and then we'll be able to pull the thermostat off. While you've got the air intake out of the way, one of the things you can also do is you can see my th throttle body's got a little gunk on there. I'm going to get some throttle body cleaner and just go ahead and clean that. I'll show you how to do that on another video. So go ahead and check out that video if you're interested in cleaning your throttle body once you've got the air intake off. Okay, so now we're going to remove the thermostat. We got the air intake tube out of the way. Uh, all we have to do is pinch this clamp and remove these two bolts, and then we can take the thermostat out. Now, one of the things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have something that catches the coolant unless you drain the coolant as I did. Check out my other video. I'm doing a coolant flush at the same time as I'm replacing the thermostat. So, um, I cheated. So. When you're doing this, it's going to take a lot of elbow grease to get this tube off of the thermostat. So I went ahead and did that, and now I'm just going to go ahead and pull it off. And this is going to be a lot easier than what you're going to have to go through uh, when you go to pull it off. But you can see, it just even though I've already got it off, it still took a little bit of elbow grease to get that thing off of there. So don't worry about it. You're not going to break it. Just go ahead and get it off there. Then go ahead and take these screws off. Okay, got the top one off. Go ahead and get the bottom one off. There we go. Now we got the thermostat out. Let's go get our new one and put it on. So here's the old thermostat. Here's a little tip just in case it doesn't come off when you take the thermostat off. There is a gasket that sits around this 
and sometimes this gasket can stick around here and if you don't notice it or if it doesn't come off when you take the thermostat off remember to take that off and toss it out your new thermostat will have its own gasket okay i got the new thermostat here we're going to go ahead and put this in just a reverse process of what we did last time get it seated in there and then just screw in the top and bottom screws then go ahead and get this threaded a little bit There we go. Get the top bolt threaded. Okay. Grab my socket wrench. Go ahead and tighten these up. Attach the tube back on here, like so. Get my pliers on, squeeze that in, and attach it. Okay, we got the thermostat on, got the tube back on. Just to warn you, however hard it was to get off, it's gonna be twice as hard to get that thing back on. But just some elbow grease, get back on there nice and tight. Now we're gonna go ahead and reconnect in the air intake tube. Just line it up, and again, there is a connection point underneath here, and you just get it lined up, and then press it down. That's in. Then go ahead and reattach both sides of the air intake tube. And hopefully, you took this opportunity to clean your throttle body. If you didn't, or if you don't know what that is, go check out my video about throttle body. And the throttle body cleaner that I used. Go ahead and get that connected. Connect back up. And we're all set. Go ahead and stop. All right, after a little uh, misadventure, getting my daughter to help me and then her dropping a screw into the engine, me having to run out to the local auto parts store, and luckily, them having the exact size screw that I needed. Being able to get it back in, got the coolant all filled up, got the new thermostat in, just need to tighten up the uh, air intake bolts, put the hood down, and that's it. So if you get that P0128 error, um, that's all you have to do is replace the thermostat, just like I showed you here in this video. If you look down below, you'll be able to see a link to all the parts that you need, the coolant, the thermostat, Distilled water, which you can get at any local grocery store for less than a buck, um, as well as anything else that you need. If you guys have any suggestions about things I could be doing better, things I could be doing differently, things I did wrong, please feel free to make a comment down below. I'm not a professional. I just like to do this on the weekends. So um, thanks a lot, and please like and subscribe to this video. Thanks.